people out golfing as well. But back to reality uh, starting yesterday. And what's the rest of today and the weekend looking like, Michelle? Well, Patrick, we still have some warmer than normal temperatures on the way part of the weekend and early next week. So still going to be kind of a milder end to February, despite today's chilly air. Narragansett, as we look at our conditions out on our roadways this morning, mostly it's a non issue, but be on the lookout for some black ice as the temperatures have dropped to freezing and the roadways have still been damp through the night. It's 28 in Smithfield now 33 westerly in Newport 32 in New Bedford. Boston is down below freezing and our temperatures in Chapachet sitting at 30 while Richmond and Narragansett are right at the freezing mark. So that's why we have our threat tracker elevated for early this morning, Friday into Saturday. We'll keep the threat tracker low that we are tracking more weight more rain. It's dry right now on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Here's what we're watching. High pressure will slide to the east. This frontal system coming in. Notice there's been a little bit of clearing through the night over New England, starting off with some breaks of sunshine, but the clouds will win out once again and the timing of the rainfall looks to be towards the mid and late afternoon hour. So here's how the future cast unfolds for the day ahead. 8 o'clock this morning, mixture of clouds and sunshine. We're dry through lunchtime. If you've got plans with the kids, maybe a final day of February break for you. We're just looking at uh, mostly cloudy skies to start the afternoon. And then towards the late afternoon and evening, the rain moving in. And that rain will be with us during just the evening hours, drying out overnight. Mostly cloudy skies, though, and some areas of fog developing. The commute this morning, dry skies but icy patches on the roads. Temperatures around 32 degrees for the afternoon noon highs, making it back only to the upper 30s and lower 40s. So a chilly rain developing late in the day today. Wednesday light out of the southeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour, about 40 at 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon in Burrowville, 40 in Situate, Johnston at 40, and rain to finish the day in Seekonk and Attleboro, upper 30s and lower 40s, Fall River and New Bedford in the afternoon. Rainy this evening, but the rain doesn't last all night. Temperatures will briefly drop into the upper 30s, and then they start to climb. So 40 degrees at 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 41, and we'll actually climb into the middle 40s during the nighttime hours, mostly cloudy skies, some patchy fog possible. In your seven-day future cast, that mild air is back on Saturday, highs in the middle 50s. We'll see a lot of clouds around, especially second half of the day, but the majority of the daylight hours are dry. The time of the rain moving in during the early and mid evening hours. If you've got plans to be out Saturday night and plan on some rain showers moving in, those showers will continue on Sunday. In fact, could see some heavy rain on Sunday and it'll be much cooler. The rain falling, especially widespread and heavy at times during the morning hours. Right now we're tracking about a half half an inch of rain on the way. Could see some three quarter inch totals. Northeast winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour will add to that chill. Talking about the mild air continuing into the end of February. We've got temperatures in the middle 50s Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday well above average and then starting to cool down at the end of the week. We'll be keeping our eye on the possibility of a coastal storm developing late next week. Okay,